Welcome to this new video, I'm the PC Collector and on today's video I'm going to do something slightly different to what I do normally because today I'm going to try to get a rather obscure version of Mac OS uh, working on physical hardware I'm speaking about no other than Rhapsody itself. If you are reached this far, you know, it is possible that you are wondering what the freak is Rhapsody. Well, Rhapsody is a rather obscure uh, beta version of the, the Mac OS X uh, system, which uh, was an experimental version intended to work on, e on x86 CPUs rather than the common power PC CPUs on Mac at that time. And who does this even exist will, will be you wondering. Well, I'm not going to go too deep in, in detail of that, but I'm going to do to give you some inside of this. In the late 90s Apple was uh, in need to increase their sales and there were there were two expert two paths which were followed to achieve the goal of uh, increasing their sales. One was the short live um, power PC clones which were started by sort of by IBM with the uh, with the ThinkPad Power series and then they came some normal clones of uh, of the normal Mac OS computers because yeah the ThinkPad Power series uh, were came to f to fill a different spot which was the Power PC laptops which which was something which wasn't filled at that point that uh, experiment was short life because, well, uh, instead of uh, increasing the sales of macOS systems, what those uh, machines did was predate on the on on Apple's market. So yeah, Apple promptly shut down the whole venture by executing one of the clauses of the, of the licensing agreement. If you are interested on the topic, there, are, there, are, there is plenty of videos on, on, on the topic, so I'm not going to stand on that. And then there were the second version of this approach, which, which was going the same path as Windows and making a system which could be installed in, in any X, 86 computer. That project was Rhapsody, and well, it was it was shut down on the beta stage. It's ne it never it never reached uh, production stage. Although uh, although uh, two releases of it exist, called Grail and Titan, with both versions for PowerPC and X86 machines. The Power the PowerPC version is uh, what would eventually become Mac OS X, while the X86 version will, will never see the light. Well, today I'm going to try to make work the X86 86 version on physical hardware which is is rather complex because well as all Apple made operating systems Rhapsody is rather um, picky with uh, with the hardware you can use it on it's a very 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 limited selection of drivers which gets me to the next point the machine I'm going to use for this task is the IBM ThinkPad 760XD. 
uh, capable with an external screen as you have seen already and the selected dock uh, for extra storage and stuff well the selected dock is not really needed but in this case it is because the laptop is quite battered and essentially uh, doesn't work without the without the without the dock you know that uh, usually on those videos I have to do a lot of tinkering to get the computers in, in shape in this case is no point uh, this machine is uh, completely expended and I'm, uh, I'm surprised it even works uh, the real-time clock battery is missing uh, in the sense that the socket is drop is, is ripped from the from the board the power fa the, the power phase on the wall doesn't work that's why it needs the the selector dog because it needs to take the power from the dog if you make it work with the charger it, it won't boot at all it will it will power off in the middle of the of the boot sequence so yeah it's uh, uh, also the um, the lap the um, the speakers are missing the built in wave card doesn't work which is an, uh, an issue because there's no drivers for for rhapsody anyways i was thinking that i could maybe try to see if i if i could make a nicer card work um uh, by putting it on the on the dock but i'm not sure if i have any card compatible so yeah i'm going to check as uh, before the next the next step i'm going to check on the the rhapsody installation manual and if i happen to have any compatible card i might try putting it on the dock and see if, if it works well, I found that uh, Sound Blaster 16 should be compatible and I already have one installed here. Um, probably in the future I do an, a video specifically on the topic of this machine because even in, on its state is an interesting machine. I'll probably at some point try to fix the battery issue um, and show the, this machine in all its glory but uh, for now that's not the topic the topic is uh, Rhapsody so let's try to get Rhapsody working on this machine and oh oh uh, be right back I, I realized that I need I need the boot floppies so uh, I'm going to make them. Well, already have the discs ready, so let's try. Let's put the put the boot floppy on the and try to get this running. Okay. Yeah, those noise, those uh, warnings are normal because yeah, the the configuration is lost. So yeah, I'm just going to I'm just going to quickly configure this. Okay, I was trying to configure it, but it seems that I hit the wrong key. Okay, let's see if I can get back there. Because, because I would like to get... Yeah. Update time. Oh. 
Okay, now, yeah, let's try to get this put in. Yeah, also, in case you are wondering, the screen is milled, milled damage, so that's uh, another reason why I'm using an external screen rather than using the laptop screen. Okay, it's not trying to boot from the... Okay, no. Why is it not trying to boot? <laughs> yeah, that's the system which is currently on the computer. Why is it not booting from the floppy drive? gonna check the floppy drive really quick because it has a bad custom okay I've checked the floppy drive it, it seems everything is okay take two yeah now oh for the love oh for the love of god I can't even it's connected to the... Okay. No, it's not working. Why the hell it's not working? Oh. It stopped working at all. What the Oh, not so they boot. Why? With a roar? The flop is dead, isn't it? Okay, time to make another copy. Okay, made another copy. Let's try. did it before read error hmm. 
Okay, let's uh, let's check the manual. Okay, to rule out connection issues, I've connected the floppy drive to the internal port in t instead of the external. It doesn't change. I can say I can exactly say I'm surprised. Try a couple more things, but I'm not. I'm not confident. Well, I'm going to try with only the port replicator, which I have seen that it has its own power supply, so it might work. Oh, for the love of God! I don't have any any confidence on that this will will work. With a roar and then freezes. Okay. Well, it seems that this is going to be a short life project because, well, I can't, I can't install, I can install it. I don't know why, why this error happens. <laughs> 